living room aka Pioneer Square. I've seen some epic battles here for freedom and civil rights way back in 2000 and before that there was lots of stuff going on and it was a different environment a different kind of protest. Now I feel like this is some new stuff and we get to participate in a new kind of communication. This sign right here represents both need and greed. You can't have one without the other. The needy are victims, the downtrodden victims of the greedy. Yeah, these are, are people who've had enough of the, the, uh, the military industrial congressional complex basically ru running and ruining our lives in small ways and big ways, in ways where I can't go shopping without getting arrested because yeah, it's been decided that that's, that's normative. It's normative for, for uh, a young, youngish black men to be arrested uh, while you know, conducting the daily business of their lives. And they figure no one will stand up for them. And those people are the, tra the, the, the Troy Davises. Our sign says, fuck plastic, which refers to a lot of different stuff. Plastic people, plastic credit cards and just general excess. I mean, everything comes in a plastic wrapper, but then it ends up floating in the ocean or something hideous like that. We got sold out, big stuff build out. We got sold out, big stuff build out. We got sold out. I want my children and grandchildren to have a job, not live in a ghetto. The rich have figured out how to consolidate all the wealth and put it all in their corner and sit on it. They buy up all the opportunity and all the land and all the property and all the farms and the people have no way of making a, a living for themselves and they don't create jobs anymore so they're just shit out of luck. My main reason for being here if I have to say one thing is I want us to stop using private funds for election campaigns. Focus on the guy manipulating on the strings. Look at the 99%, they're happy. Thank you for paying your taxes and making me filthy rich. Like I took a day off of work to come here to find out what the message is, what, what people's idea is, what we can do, and to, and to read the signs and see the people, and just to experience what it is to be American and to celebrate our First Amendment right to peaceably assemble and to address the government for our, for our grievances. That's kind of the reason why we're here, is our democracy is, in the, is owned by other people, not us. What's happening here is just the physical manifestation of a lot of pissed off people wanting to come together to say, we want to make this better. It looks like right now we've kind of just organized in a park. Um, there's several thousand of us here. I mean, I see signs here with people, you know, wanting the WTO to get out, uh, in corporate personhood. You know, and I think that that's something we can all agree on. I'm personally here today because of austerity measures. Um, I have a degree in economics, and I can pretty well say that this, that the austerity measures we have hurt our lives. The only silver bullet that I can think of is exactly what we're doing now. Uh, we have power in numbers, and those are the only way we have power. Uh, it's either have to have a lot of people or a lot of money, and I think we're on our way to a lot of people, which is what we need for change.